Hi everyone, I'm Kayla from Alta Behavioral Healthcare and I'm an art therapist. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a fun and relaxing technique called string art or string pulling. Here is an example of one that I have done recently. It is completely dried right now. Um, notice there's a lot of color, a lot of different lines. Let's get started. You'll need some type of paper. It does not matter the size of paper, it does not matter the type of paper or the color, anything that you would like, anything that you have available. You will also need string. Here I have three different types of string. I have some paint brushes, some scissors, and some acrylic paint. All of this material has been provided by the Helms Foundation, who supplies art therapy materials to Alta Behavioral Healthcare and other agencies in Mahoning County. So, what I am going to do first is I'm gonna fold this paper in half. You may have heard of this fold as like a hot dog style, long ways, almost like a hot dog bun. The purpose of folding it is we are going to actually make a mirror reflection of the art. So the first step is to go ahead and pull out the paint that you like. Any colors will work. Put them on a paint palette. Then go ahead and get some string. Probably nothing too large, nothing too, um, nothing longer than about a foot. So go ahead and grab a paintbrush and go ahead and simply dip your string inside your paint. And what I'm gonna do is as I hold the top of the string with my other hand with holding the paintbrush, I am just gonna simply coat the string with paint. So I'm just gonna rearrange how the string is on the paint palette to get different colors in different areas. You want to leave enough room at the top to hold it without your fingers getting covered in paint. When you feel like that has been completely covered, I want you to go ahead and lay the string in any type of arrangement on the page. You can create a cool design with it or you can simply just Put it right down on the page just like I had showed you guys. You are going to simply fold that page over, press down with it, and then turn it around. You'll see this little tail, the one that we are holding when we are coating it with paint. You want to make sure at least a little bit is out because that will also come in handy with the next step. I'm going to turn it back around facing me and with your hand holding down the string and holding down that fold, I want you to then go ahead and pull that string at that bottom without the paint. Pull it out slowly while your hand is still applying pressure. And just be mindful when you pull it, some of that tension will be released. If you were to pull it really hard, it might come back and splatter you a little bit. So just be mindful of that. Once you have that string pulled, once you go ahead and open your art. Isn't that cool? Get so many different colors and it looks something completely different than just the string. That is a single line that you just simply placed on the paper. When you were pulling the string while applying the pressure, it allowed for the paint to be pulled in different areas. But this is just a fun activity for you to try, have fun with, and to relax while you guys have some extra free time with the school coming to an end.